I'm seeing the photosensitivity warning. What is this part? Hold on. Hello, gals, blokes, and all other folks. My name is Mortius, and today we are here with Corvix's newest, I think newest, I didn't actually check before saying that, Bring Me to Life, Evanescence cover that says male version higher than original key. Oh, dear. <laughs> I'm really excited for this one for three reasons. One, it comes from our lovely loyal patron, Kevin Snipes, uh, and he has so far brought me nothing but bangers that I've loved to check out. Number two, I loved the other cover by Corvix that I checked out, which was My Heart Will Go On from Titanic, which I covered like three or four months ago, I want to say. Uh, and third, to be completely transparent about the authenticity of my reactions, I have actually seen a little bit of this cover already, only a very tiny bit, um, after I really maybe shouldn't have with the acknowledgement that I was probably going to do another reaction, but I went and followed Corvix on some other social media after I checked them out before. Uh, and so a clip of one of the sort of cover belts from this cover ended up on my TikTok feed. So there's like a 30 second clip from right in the middle of the song where he really belts it out that I have seen before. And I am very sorry if that takes away from the authenticity of the reaction in just that one section. There's probably gonna be one part where instead of being like, oh, I didn't see that coming, I'll be like, oh, that's the cool part I saw. So hopefully it's still going to be just as fun. The rest of it's going to be an honest reaction, but there is that one part in the middle that I saw on TikTok. I apologize. All that to say, I think Corvix is extremely talented. I'm really excited to see what he brings to this cover. Thank you again to Kevin for supporting the channel and um, suggesting this song. If you want to join him and all the other lovely patrons who get various rewards, anything from early access all the way up to re re requesting your own reactions like Kevin has this month, please feel free to head over to patreon.com slash Mortius and continue supporting me over there. But without any further ado, we're going to hop right on into Bring Me to Life, an Evanescence cover by, Corv by Corvix. Here we go. I did it. Mason, just like last time, can you go ahead and put up a little big or bigger photosensory warning? I know there's one right there on the screen, but go ahead and put up a bigger one just to make sure... I don't know how much of a difference it makes uh, when it's that small, but I want to be safe to all you lovely viewers anyway, so thank you to Mason for making that photosensory warning bigger. You can either add one or just make that one bigger. Either way, I'm excited to see what happens. Let's do this. Ooh, I need this to be so much louder. Oh, that's too much louder. <laughs> Okay, this is a different look than uh, My Heart Will Go On for sure. Love the beard. I love the. Oh. There's also some, which we know if he's capable of some amazing falsetto, but there's this really cool falsetto overtone happening here. Obviously, this lower version, the in his chest voice is the forefront, but in the background, that's also his voice up there. This is also his voice in the background. That's awesome. And as far as the vocal editing and post-production on this, that's really cool because the lower part that's more in the forefront does not have a crazy amount of echo or anything put on it, but the higher one does. There's a lot more echo and reverberation to the high one to give it more of that ethereal sort of floating on top feel, while the sort of forefront one sticks a little bit more just normal and natural. <laughs> I hate these visuals, though. They're very uncomfy. <laughs> oh, what a cool... 
cool way to go back and forth between the two different areas of his natural vocal range. Awesome. Love that. Voice just up there, that, like nothing. Else. Like I can hit that. I'm a natural tenor. I know what my range is, but it's all in my full head voice. Like, like, like it's just it's at a completely different place in my sort of body and register and everything like that. Ah, what just happened? <sighs> Goodness, I was trying to turn the brightness down, and I think I pressed the wrong button and accidentally scrolled down instead. So I saying, oh yeah, just the sort of tonality, the way that he's still able to engage his like full voice, that like mix that he's able to do is just amazing. Dude. How does he go? Like, that actually doesn't make sense to me. His way that he can stay so high and become breathy but maintain ch It's already hard to, like, really maintain your chest and be breathy, but it's like... It's like a breathy mix? It doesn't even make sense. Like, I can't- I literally can't do that. Like, that's wild. Because, like, the second time checking out an artist like this, I feel like my reactions aren't as, like, big necessarily because I already know what they're capable of. But that doesn't make it any less impressive. Like, I don't want the fact that I'm just kind of sitting here, like, vibing along to make it seem like what Corvix is capable of is any less impressive. It's absolutely incredible. I just feel like I don't have that much new to say, you know what I mean? But, like... It's so impressive. And I like that here we've got the opposite of what I talked about earlier. We're way more in the forefront of the production is the higher, like, high mix voice. But that lower octave is still there. But now, which one's sort of quiet and sort of the over versus undertone? And which one's the forefront one have now swapped, which is really cool. You can hear that low. There's, darling, oh happening in the background even though he's built now the darling no you know what i mean it, like it's still there which is really interesting how it's got those octaves at the beginning and here but which one's more important has completely swapped that's super creative I'm seeing the photosensitivity warning. What is this part? Hold on. Okay. What a 
a cool way to handle all that. Unfortunately, that is what I saw on TikTok, probably much to the disappointment of people who were really waiting for that. But also, it's still so good even the second time. It's the third time, because as soon as I saw it, I immediately went to show it to my wife. So technically it's the third time I've read it, but hold on. God, it's so good! Sick. Super cool. Is there any more? Is that actually it? Ooh. Oh, I love the little humming there. Wait, stop looking at me like that. It makes me very uncomfortable. That, like, listen to that, like, the... It's like... The, like... Hmm, little bit of humming there is a really cool touch. Awesome! That was sick, as I expected it to be. Thank you so much to Kevin for bringing that across my sort of proverbial table here. I really, really, really enjoyed checking that one out. Thank you so much to all of you for accompanying me through this cover. Thank you to Corvix for hitting us with another banger. Thank you to my patrons for making videos like this possible. And as always, gals, blokes, and all other folks, I will see you in the next video. Bye.